So you are a builder of tree houses, and we're inside one of your creations right now. Would you like to say a little bit about your business and about, um, about where we are? Yeah, I'm the lead designer um, for Romero Studios. I founded the company. And uh, I guess so. since 97, we've done about 60 houses so far. Wow. Okay. But we're in one of my favorites. Uh, this is called White Oaks Chapel. I love this house because it also has a lot of light coming into it. Uh, there's so many windows. There's 18 windows. And okay. then there's a tower, so we have that second floor for sleeping. You know, everything here is reclaimed and salvaged, so it's really fun to work with all that wood because it's not all, you know, square and straight. So uh, we have a lot of fun just kind of finding the quirkiness to what we have. And, you know, we go out in the forest and find fallen trees and then take them to our mill and, you know, run our planks. And, uh, yeah, this house, it just, you know, it feels like home when you come in the door. One of the kind of evolutions in the engineering um, is this a piece called the Garnier limb. It's a rod that goes into the tree perpendicular and then your beam rests on top of that and it gives it that ability for the tree to move and the tree house to stay you know, still. So what kind of people buy tree houses? There could be something like a project that I donate you know, to a park, you know, or um, like when I went to Tangier and worked with kids that, from the street and taught them how to build tree houses to really, I guess, high-end clients like um, like Sting and his wife, you know, Trudy Styler and their family and okay. Donna Karen and people like that. You know, like a bed and breakfast that we did in Hawaii. That okay. was, you know, that had a hot tub, that had a shower, it had a plasma okay. TV. <laughs> wow. so you... Which is kind of weird because you're supposed to be immersed in nature, but, <laughs> you know, it, it's a honeymoon suite kind of situation. and Sometimes it can be the grandparents are trying to b have something for their kids or... The same with, you know, the adults getting it for their kids, but in the end, it's like, you know, the parents almost take over the house because they enjoy it so much, you know. It brings them back to their childhood memories. Well, the, as they come up, they're like, oh, that's a stairway. That's a kind of a normal thing. And then usually I'll do some, one of these big woven, you know, nests around it. So then you're suddenly like, I'm walking through a nest. <laughs> and then sometimes it can be a suspension bridge, you know, or even what this one is a covered bridge. And then, uh, and then you come in through the, f the door and you're like, oh, wow, you know, it's usually this like smile and this like just overwhelming feeling that they're like, they're in the house, but they're about 30 feet off the ground. <laughs> and then go out to the deck and then, you know, sit down and just be quiet. Usually people are really quiet when they walk in um, because it's like, you know, you're kind of like become humble and, uh, and really want to listen to the leaves. and. Um, see what kind of birds are coming by. You just start listening more than, than speaking.